spider hitch knot is an ideal knot to use to tie your main line and connect it to a shock leader. This enables you to use lighter lines and target bigger sized species of fish. The first thing you'll need is your main line. Then, to the other end, we go for the shock leader. Now the shock leader, the way it works, anybody who is not familiar with the system, if you're using a five ounce weight, you want a minimum of a 50 pound shock leader. The way it works is 10 pounds of leader strength to every ounce of weight. So a six ounce weight would mean at least a 60 pound shock leader. Most of the fishing I do, I use a five and three quarter ounce Namex weight or a five or six ounce breakaway weight. When tournament casting, pendulum casting, and putting baits at range, you want to make sure that that leader knot is very, very strong and it's not going to go in under pressure. 80 pound is what I recommend is used when fishing. So now on to the final tool for the job. Snips. These are a must for all anglers tackle boxes. You can use scissors to cut away the excess line from the knot but at the end of the day you want to get right up close to the knot and this enables you to get right up close and cut away any excess that obviously needs to be gone. So let's get on with the knot. So the first thing you want to do is take your main line. Now to practice the knot what you need to do is take around the foot of line and then loop him straight back over on itself. Hold the line with your thumb and your finger. So what you've got here is a big loop. So at this point, with the left hand, you've got the both lines pinched together. Now what you're going to do is come down your line a couple of inches and fold it back onto itself to perform a loop. It's that simple. You want to simply bring your big loop and bring it over the top of your finger where the loop is and hold it there. Then you can perform this and never turn, holding each time with your thumb, press down for pressure. And then you're going to bring it round for the third time. On the third time, with the big loop, what you have here, you want to bring that through the little loop, and each time, one loop will come off. See that? At this point, you want a bit of lubrication. A bit lubricated. Now for the final part of the main line knot. You've got to make sure that all these lines are pulled evenly. The reason being, if you pull one side and not the other, so if I pulled this line, the top line and not the bottom line, I would be left with the loop access from the bottom line. As you can see, I've got this nigh onto a T, but this just comes with practice. So what I'm gonna do now is pull the knot together. So what you wanna do is take your snips, let's get up close and snip away your excess line. So, what you got is a nice knot with a loop. This is the main loop which your shock leader is going to attach to. So what I'm going to do now is take the shock leader, like so. Take your loop, like so, your finger on it, and you want to bring your leader up and around and over the line four times. At this point, if you can see, you've got your finger in the bottom of the loop and your shock leader has gone round four times.
then bring the top of the leader back down through the loop and what you'd be left with is a line coming down. At this point make sure if you come back up the knot you hold the knot before your fingers. There's no point holding the knot there. The reason for this is simple is when that knot pulls there it won't pull evenly. If you come behind and pull together the knot will come in easily. So what I'm going to do now is pull this section and then I'm going to pull the trace what comes back down through the loop of the main shock leader and I'm going to pull that and that side together at the same time. So like I said, I've got my fingers, what I'm going to pull with, behind this side of the knot, and I've got both parts of the shock leader in around the back of the knot. What I'm going to do is pull this knot in very slowly up to that stage. Lubrication. At that point, as I said before, both hands either side of the outside of the knots, and you pull. that will give you a shock leader and your main line both connected. Now if I take this now, run around a couple of times, and pull out, there's a lot of strength on there. That ain't going nowhere. Land some great fish with this, this knot. I normally tend to use this knot on 20 pounds and upward size line. If I'm using a 15 pound to 18 pound line, I normally use the Bimini twist knot um, just because it's a lot springier than not, but for £20 and up, this is an idea not to be using. Nice and strong. So that point now, last thing we do, snips. Up close to the knot again. And there you have. One spider hitch, shock leader knot. So there you go. Might take you 10-15 minutes to practice and get the hang of it. But once mastered, this can have you back fishing. If you get snagged and end up losing the line, losing your rig, then this is an ideal way of attaching your shock leader back on, enabling you to get out of fish again. Like I said, top quality line, top quality leader, and there ain't no breaking it. You can land some really fantastic fish on this knot, and um, there you go. So let's wind them up.